Hey, what's up guys, Winston here. I have in my hands Intel's latest flagship processor, the Core Ultra 9 285K. So in this video, we'll be taking a quick look at the specs and features in this five minute wrap up. On the 10th of October, Intel announced the launch of their new next gen desktop processor, the Core Ultra Series 2. It received somewhat of a mixed reaction and the reception was only lukewarm. This was mainly due to the fact that Intel themselves stated in their presentation slides that the gaming performance of their flagship Core Ultra 9 285K was in fact worse than its predecessor, the Core i9 1400K. Oh, oh dear. More concerning is that the new Core Ultra 9 285K now has only 24 threads compared to 32 threads on the older 1400K and offers a lower max boost speed of only 5.7 GHz. It was 6 GHz on the 1400K. It also has a new pin configuration and that corresponds to a new LGA1851 socket. In other words, if you want to run one of these new Core Ultra CPUs from Intel, then you need a new motherboard that has a new Z890 chipset. So what real advantages does the new Core Ultra Series 2 have over the previous Core i series of processors? Well, first off, the new chip is now made by TSMC, not Intel, using the 3 nanometer fabrication process. Plus, it's now more energy efficient and consumes less power. I guess lower power consumption means less heat, so now your CPU should run a little bit cooler. The Core Ultra 9 285K has 24 cores, 8 performance cores and 16 efficiency cores, but only 24 threads. It operates at a default base clock of 3.7 GHz, with a turbo boost up to a maximum of 5.7 GHz. It comes with a total of 36 MB of L2 cache and features Intel UHD graphics. Now you can't make a new chip nowadays without integrating some sort of AI. The new Core Ultra CPUs now include Intel's AI Boost MPU Neural Processing Unit with a performance of 13 TOPS, that's trillion operations per second. Now I'm not exactly sure how these MPUs will help with everyday tasks, but there you go. Now you've got some MPUs in your CPUs. Based on our tests and benchmarks, I can tell you that there's literally no seeable differences between the Core i9 1400K and the newer Core Ultra 9 285K. Seriously, it does run cooler and consumes less power, but apart from that, it hasn't really improved or increased my productivity to be honest. So the burning question you've all been waiting to ask, should I get one? Well, if your PC uses the older 10th or 11th gen processor, then sure, go ahead and upgrade to the new Core Ultra Series 2 along with a new Z890 chipset motherboard, but it will be a major upgrade, costing you well over $800 just for the chip and board. For those of you who's already on the 12th, 13th and 14th gen processor, then I suggest you wait. I really don't see any real benefit the chip will bring, other than it's new, and if you do go for it, then you need to change your motherboard, which is a real pain in the So with all things taken into consideration, we give the Core Ultra 9 285K a rating of 6.5 to 7 out of 10. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like, and then leave a comment down below. Don't forget you actually buy the processor, find the links in the description, and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh wait, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.